Welcome to my desert home. There you go. Click subscribe and hit the notification button and uh, maybe you'll be able to see me and visit me on a regular basis. Thank you. Okay. Let's get these cats fed. I already gave him one pot. There you go. Gave him another pot. Look at that Siamese looking cat. Do not try to pick that cat up. He'll try to kill you. Anyhow, let's take this here mash over to the chickens. Chicken coop over that way. That's why they call it a walkway or a sidewalk or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Anyhow. If I wasn't uh, carrying something, I would have stepped down behind the trailer. A lot easier that way. Shorter, I would say. But not that much. My gosh. Am I making shortcuts when there's no reason to? There you go. Put that down so I can open this one-handed. I don't know if that helps keep it from from locking itself. I I pounded on a hammer a little bit to keep that back, this bolt back when you close the door. You can get yourself locked in there. Anyhow, <clears throat> oh, she likes to put treats on here on them paper plates. Okay, yeah. Come on, come on out. There you go. Oh, guess what? I forgot to put the mesh in. Oh my gosh. Well, let's hope none of them try to run through the open door. I ain't in the mood for that. And I'm one-handed with this stick. There you go. He did. He tried to run for it. <laughs> I had to kick him. Well, I didn't kick him. I just kind of nudged him. It through the little door. <laughs> okay. That's why I should be wearing the head thing. So I can be two-handed. Anyhow. I am in no mood for playing chase me, chase me with the chicken. Yeah. And that's why I, I need a, a good mount for my camera. Yum! Yeah. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna have to change your water. I've been drinking too much out of that hanging jug thing. Let's turn on the light. There you go. Well, okay. Oh. All right. I really want to get this stuff out of here because look at it's getting so dusty. If I can put that in the tent, 
it would be a lot better. And oh, there we go. Let's put this in here so we can make some more solid mass for the chickens. I bought this stuff yesterday. I I need to mix it with that to get them ready. This is a starter crumble and this is land crumble. And uh, it's got a lot of oyster shells in it. Anyhow, if I mix them together according to uh, what this little pamphlet Purina puts out. Actually, I downloaded it off the uh, internet. Uh, Purina website. Anyhow, it says that a month or so before your chickens start laying to, to buy some of uh, that stuff and start mixing it with that. Well, let's see how much they got left in here. Well, that's when I usually start. That little red thing showing there, that's a sign to me that it's getting low. So, I am going to uh, turn this off again so that I can mix the feed. Okay, I put two scoopfuls, one of each, and a chicken coming in to check everything out. I'm going to uh, go put that in there, then I'm going to come back and I'm going to take that jug. Well, I'm going to come back with uh, five gallons of water and uh, fill that bowl. Well, it doesn't take five gallons, but there's enough left over for the cats in that bucket. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing if I dropped anything. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to be turning you off again so I can untie that and empty it out. Use both my hands. I should have brought a different mount, but uh, I did. Okay, got them filled up. Look at him hiding back there. He's a mean one. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to go out to the gate. Look, you can see Blue Mountain just barely through that haze. I don't know if the camera will even pick it up. Well, the sun's up, up in the in the sky now, sort of. <laughs> okay. All right. See, I'm holding the, the stick up so y'all can, can see where you're going, but I'm looking at the ground so I can see where I'm stepping. That's, that's the secret of country living. You watch where you're putting your feet. Anyhow, kind of hard to do when you ha have the headgear on but on the other hand I had to turn the camera off a few times in order to get some things done with my hands okay well that's about it I'm gonna open the gate I'm gonna go in and oh the reason why main reason I'm doing this video is uh, I got some new microphones and uh they didn't work, they, and but then I noticed that there was a a little tiny fitting that I adapts it to. Uh, I hope it adapts it to this phone. Well, adapts it to the phone to, to the adapter to this phone. <laughs> okay, well, that's it. 
Okay, I'm going to keep this, uh, this Bible study short because I don't want to bore you guys. And uh, I just want to share some things. One thing, I'll share one thing. And that is, uh, <coughs> let me read just two scriptures. Galatians 4, 8 and 4, 9. Howbeit then, when ye knew not God, ye did service unto them which by nature are no gods. Well, before we know Jesus, before we start trying to follow him, trying to listen to his, his word, trying to follow his spirit, his inspiration, his teaching. And uh, before we do that, we were following things that, that uh, which by nature are no gods. Now Paul was talking to the Galatians. They were heathens. They were idol worshippers. Um, they they um, were kind of like on a crossroad between the east and the west so they were getting the uh, western uh, relig Roman religion and uh, believe me that was not Christianity back in those days that was you know the ancient Greek and Roman gods they were following that and of course they were following stuff from the east because they were they were actually kind of like in the middle between the Persian Empire and the Roman Empire but they were a Roman province so they legally had to worship the, the Roman gods and uh, also worship emperors. The em a lot of the emperors um, wanted people to, uh, well, especially after when the Christian church became big, they made Christians, uh, they, they were forcing people to burn incense to the Caesar as a god. But anyhow, they, nowadays we have our own gods. We have the celebrities, and and we have the politicians, and and uh, we have uh, drugs. Now they had drugs back in those days, and uh, the Bible speaks about about uh, drunkards, and the Bible does speak about drugs. If you uh, if you check out the word for witchcraft. And sorcery and even that word bewitched that might have something to do with drugs but anyhow I, I know how badly we can get trapped by drugs even even after we have known God because I fell away and I struggled with drugs for 30 years and it was a struggle to get off of them but come November I'll, I'll be, well, officially, in my mind, clean from drugs for 20 years. But it, believe me, it, it took at least three to five years after stopping using them to kind of calm down and quit flying off the handle every time I turn around. And even after that, it wasn't always easy. But, I mean, you know, the emotional state and the mental state. But uh, hopefully, uh, uh, now that I'm older and weaker, <laughs> I, I've calmed down a little bit. I, I pray that I have. But anyhow, it says here in verse 9, But now, after that we have known God, or rather have known of God, oh, that... Oh, this computer. That's the advanced system care telling me something. I don't know. That is running in the background. But anyhow, after that ye have known God, or rather are known of God, how turn ye again to the weak and beggarly elements, whereunto ye desire again to be in bondage? And, of course, Paul was talking about heathen religion but it can go it can go on to uh, in modern times 
how instead of keeping our eyes on Jesus, we wanna we wanna put put eye, our eyes on uh, on celebrities and and uh, oh well, I'm gonna say it, politicians. I mean, you know what? Any politician that tells me that he's the chosen one, any politician that tells me that only he can fix it, well, I'm sorry, but he's not the chosen one, and he's not the only one who can fix it. The only one who can fix anything is God. And uh, so I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm for the other side either. All I'm saying is, please do not worship a man as if he is the only thing in the world and that he's always right because he's not. No man is. Not even me. And probably wrong more than most. But anyhow, let's not turn again to the weak and beggarly elements. Let's, let's stay away from that idol worship stuff no matter if it's an idea no matter if it's a, a motorcycle <laughs> or a car or a, or a guitar or a trumpet or a politician or even a preacher let's keep our eyes on Jesus there it goes again oh boy I'm done on it Excuse my language, doggone it. <laughs> I've, I've been told many a time that those are just euphemisms for cuss words. But I keep doing it because I'm not perfect. But after that, I have known God, or rather, known of God. Because Jesus said, no man comes to the Father except by me. We can't know God unless the Spirit draws us. We cannot know God except that He reached out to us first. He loved us before we loved Him. Those are all scriptural references. And if you got a good concordance, look them up. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there and I, I, I want you to know that I'm trying to love everybody, but it ain't easy. Okay, God bless you all. Thank you for watching.